was another very busy week for WFMD News. On Monday, we had attorneys, both uh, Ted Williams and Greg Latimer, they're representing the family of Jarrell Gray. And in 2007, Jarrell Gray died after he was tased twice by Corporal Rudy Torres. And Torres was sent to a scene on November of 2007 to a fight in progress, got on scene and tried to get several subjects to uh, follow his commands. Jarrell didn't, so he was tased twice. And then he died several hours later at Frederick Memorial Hospital. So the family of Jarrell Gray, they're saying that he died because of excessive force, and they're suing the county, the sheriff's office, and Corporal Rudy Torres for $145 million. So when Ted was on our show Monday morning, the phone lines lit up. Well, on Tuesday, we had Frederick County Sheriff Chuck Jenkins appear on the Morning News Express with uh, Bob Miller, and he kind of took Ted Williams to task for comments that Ted made about some of his deputies. On Wednesday, it was a very busy afternoon. At around 5 o'clock, there was a chase that started on Route 85 by Guilford Drive, and what happened was a deputy noticed that there was a Chevy Tahoe that was driving around that was stolen tried to stop it and it took off and the SUV got onto Interstate 70 eastbound, ended up hitting a police cruiser and flipped on the interstate. So 70 was shut down for several hours and both occupants in the SUV were flown to Washington County Hospital and then they were charged on many offenses and they're both from Martinsburg, West Virginia. On Thursday we were talking about the mayor and board of aldermen. They were discussing plans for doing something with Route 15. Some folks suggest adding eight lanes of traffic for both directions on Route 15 in between Interstate 70 and Route 26. Well, some people on the Board of Aldermen don't like that idea. They would rather see Route 15 widened. So there was a big discussion about that, and our WFMG listeners called into the Morning News Express and expressed their opinion. And then on Friday morning, we covered Obama's health care proposal once again. So make sure that you always tune into WFMD News, where you get local live and breaking news 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Next week on Monday, we're going to kick it off with another edition of our Monday morning job hunt. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Diana Gibson, News Director on WFMD.